beautiful so welcome back to my channel lovely i've just come back from town lovely um to pr from primark lovely and a few errands just bear with me i can't get much stuff lovely, in town because especially in primark because a lot of the sizes are gone but what i did get was some new underwear which are essential i buy these type of underwear because they have got strong material i now get them in size medium and they fit like a glove and i also brought a new blazer i've still got a bit of weight to lose but it looks like this it's got these gorgeous buttons on i'll show you what it looks like i also brought a new bra i'm currently wearing it it's bright with a black top underneath this looks amazing now it does not fasten because my breasts are still growing so there we go that's what it looks like like i said i still have weight to lose but with the right pair of jeans and that up it could be an amazing outfit now i do have a new bra as you guys can see it looks like this it's kind of this nice purple but um i have a boots hole coming because i have some frizz serum coming and a co-wash which is a conditioner and a shampoo and one roughly because i don't want to be shampooing my hair all the time um i do have the d4 brush um from denim but the thing is what i do realized i'd done yesterday i forgot um that henna is a class as a protein treatment and if you use it too much your hair can start breaking off and i added two more proteins on top roughly and ended up with it just a, just a tad bit of breakage at the top as you guys can see and using the deep free brush because my hair was protein overloaded roughly um it started breaking up but i know i had to get back on track now this bag is extremely heavy because i have 10 of the same items 10 because they're on offer two for three pounds so they fit in it's one pound fifty each there are no silicones in this and this is by super drug roughly this is a hair mousse roughly it's the extra firm hold roughly and because they were on roughly two for three pounds i brought ten because i don't go shopping that often i also have a ebay and amazon haul coming now this is what my curls look like today oh. i've had to separate some of them so some of them um, because i've had to use gel again roughly my hair feels a little bit wet i really don't like gel but um this is the side this is the back other side so roughly I'm trying hair mousse roughly because I used to like when I tried styling my hair curly many years ago I remember using this and it was the best now it does not contain any silicones roughly I don't know about drying alcohols but this is really going to help my me roughly when it comes to my hair because as you guys can see even though i styled my hair curly yesterday i've were caught with a lot of frizz like a lot a lot so tomorrow i'm going to be using this roughly on dry hair just to help revamp some of my curls and that will put this entire bag is full of hair mousse but 
caramel currently is quite packed hopefully um at the moment hopefully there's loads of people trying to buy stuff so um i'm going to be waiting another month till i buy stuff hopefully again because it was quite packed and unfortunately my straighteners and my um hair dryer was on here on mounted on the wall when i tried getting my hair dryer off the other day hopefully because the nozzle won't come off it pulled it off the freaking wall but um i fit into my be cut completely now hopefully but i still have a long way to go including my hair and as you guys can see I no longer have my plugs and tunnels in. Um, the reason because is because when I stretched up to a two gauge, um, the stretch didn't hurt, nothing was wrong. And um, it was perfectly fine for two days. And then when I took it out to clean it, because that's what I tend to do, I noticed as soon as I took it out, hopefully the hole had gotten really small and I was like, what the hell has gone off, hopefully, and it's completely closed up, by the way. Um, I was wondering what went off, hopefully, and I ended up with another micro tear, hopefully, which is just a little tear in the ear and it's enough to make my ear shrink to nothing. And it's a pain in the arse because the stretch didn't hurt, nothing went wrong. But for some reason my ear tore on the inside this is my really bad ear hopefully this is the only one i know that has a problem this one was at a one gauge and that that um i will be trying again in the future to stretch my ears again but for now hopefully i'm leaving my ears alone because for some reason this one seems to be prone hopefully to closing up quite a lot and it's actually a pain because I actually got it to a two gauge and it was perfectly fine. But then when I took it out, well, it it, it shrank up so quickly. Um, even if it didn't have a little bit of a micro tear, it shrank up quite easy because this is my bad ear. And, uh, and it always closes up more faster than this one. This one's my really stretchy one. And it's just a pain because roughly I love having stretched ears roughly and I can't really have them because of the one that you they keep wanting to close so at the moment roughly it's a losing battle but that's my haul stay tuned for some more because i will have some more hair come hair care come in and that lot um and i want to do some videos about second uh, I'll put that on Monday or Tuesday I shall pick up Tuesday but the thing is, is she, I want to do roughly a video on how my curls have improved since I did my start of my filler hair journey I have broken away with heat two or three times but the last time I straightened my hair was four months ago. I did straighten it about, I think it was about a week ago or two weeks ago. And I'm back on, but my curls are still intact, hopefully, and they're better than ever. Now my hair is far from being okay. Hopefully not from curly, but I can go out in public now and know, hopefully, that my curls are pretty much intact this is my good side there is a lot of curl there's a lot of ringlets and stuff on this side the back i don't really know because there was actually a spot i actually missed but the thing is um, i want to do videos about that roughly using henna and all sorts and how my hair how my curls have improved and that other shit there's still a lot i want to do roughly including transition wise roughly because i have breasts now as you guys can see um i do like to opt between um, styling my hair with curly hair products and 
leaving it basically leave a slight slit, slight bit of leaving conditioner and stuff. But I have a lot of videos to come for you guys, hopefully. But that's the video, hopefully. Um, yeah, I kind of cut myself the other day. But um, that's what's happened to my ears. Hopefully, they uh, they just don't want to stretch up anymore. Hopefully, and this one seems to be more prone to micro tears and that all the chi and I didn't force the taper in I did not force the tunnel in but I ended up with a tear in my ear and it was enough to close it yet again roughly so I'm going to attempt a very good long while with it I've been using vitamin E to help it close my ears closed this one's closed anyway but this one it's still got a way to go with it because it's, I stretched it to one gauge but um that's the video roughly, that's the whole roughly, I've, I've, the, the thing is with that red jacket, it's one of those things, you know when you go around the store and that lot literally and you're looking at items and that lot and there's this one item that catches your eye roughly and you're like oh no roughly, it, um, I'll see when I go around and that and then you keep coming back to it, that was that. Anyway I hope you enjoy the video and stay tuned for some more, bye.